back to my channel. <laughs> this is actually my channel now. Today I'm joined by Ryan. Hey yo. Ryan's from Enjoy Game on YouTube. You can check him out. I'll link him below. He's my boyfriend. And today we're making vegan eggnog. So yeah, we've got all the ingredients right here. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Backstory, I love eggnog. I only, like, I only found out about it about two years ago. And then I went vegan and I couldn't buy it anymore. Yeah, so shame, but... <laughs> Huge shame. But we found this recipe yes. that apparently you can make vegan eggnog with all this random stuff. Yeah, so we'll see if it's any good or not. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to make it up and um, we'll you know how it is. So the recipe we have chosen today is the Sanitarium Eggnog. So they are a company of soy milk. You guys might have them in your country. And their recipe is called So Good Eggnog. So if you want to find it online, that's what to search. I'll also link it in the description. We're going to make double, so... <laughs> we decided to make double because we're going to a Christmas party tonight. <laughs> yeah, and I really like eggnog. Yeah. I really like eggnog. Okay, so eggnog. we're just making it so that Ryan Love. can drink it all. <laughs> just Fair warning, it's thunderstorming right now and we have Mia walking around. So if you hear thunder or Mia walking around... It's probably going to be, yeah, a lot of yep, little pitter patters of feet because she's sniffing around looking for scraps. Here she is. Here's the, the little, trash monster. The little scavenger. <laughs> Here to ruin. Oh, you're a tired, oh, sweetie. So sleepy. Oh. <laughs> Not ah. in the face. Let's get down to business. Because we gotta be somewhere soon. And okay. uh, we're gonna have a lot of time to talk. Now I have to wash my hands because it touched me up. True. <laughs> me first. Oh, so I've got this new shirt. So I've got an avocado on it. You can find these at uh, Roger David. They're really cool. They're 50% off at the moment. We're not and sponsored by Roger David. Roger David, if you want to sponsor us, please feel free. <laughs> now you bought me this avocado shirt, but it was white. It had white and had an avocado on it. And then I never get complimented on any clothing I have, but all of a sudden, like 15 people were just like, hey, no shirt. <laughs> so then we went and bought the black one. So it fits. I've been complimented. So the method is really easy. It just says add all ingredients into a blender, blend until smooth, and enjoy. So that's really cool. Okay, so it's raining quite heavily now. I don't know if the audio is picking it up or not, but anyway. It totally is. It always picks up. <laughs> it was it was sunny. It's like 35 it was degrees. 35, today. and apparently they said in an hour it was gonna drop to like 22. Yeah, so like here comes the thunderstorm, good old Melbourne weather, it's hurricaning and then sunny the next, like whatever. Just gotta deal with it. The ingredients for this recipe are six pitted dates. One three fourths cup of so good almond milk unsweetened, one fourth cup of so good coconut milk unsweetened, one half cup of cashews, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon of ground cloves, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a half teaspoon of vanilla essence, and a pinch of salt. You sound like a professional reading off all those ingredients. <laughs> Well, this kitchen's quite fancy, so I feel like a chef. I feel like a chef. I feel like I have my own chef show right now. And you're my little co-host. I'm your little assistant. My little co-chef. I'm the one who gets to do all the work, and I'm the one yeah. who gets to drink all the things, so... You're counting those dates, aren't you? Yeah, this is, I don't know, between five and this eight. This is me being controlling. <laughs> Ryan, you've been counting those dates? <laughs> I've always counted dates. How many have you got? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is number 10. Really, so like we bought this little container of dates and to double the mixture, that's basically all the dates. Ah, so we're gonna put these in here. Okay, get those in there. I think the sun came out. Oh my oh, God. Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry about the lighting changes in this video as well. First it's raining now, it's sunny like I just I said. Just this here. Oh, one little date. One little date didn't make it into the blender. So one three fourths cup of so good almond milk. So that's gonna be two. That's this one. Two and a half. All right, Ryan's putting in the three fourths cups. What's next? Okay, so we're gonna do the coconut milk. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. So do you reckon this will taste eggy at all, like traditional eggnog? I hope it does. I reckon it won't. <laughs> oh, yeah. I reckon both. it'll be like. Because there's so many spices and things, I reckon it'll be like spicy or like flavorful, but not really eggnoggy. I reckon it'll taste Christmassy because of all the flavors, but maybe not eggnoggy. Well, I'll be the judge of that because I know what the eggnog yeah. is supposed to taste like. See, I didn't really good. used to like eggnog, and we never really had it either. So <laughs> I reckon I'll like this one though. I used to hear it like like all these Christmas TV shows that always be like, oh, I'll grab the eggnog. And I was like, Hell's eggnog. <laughs> I thought it was actually like an alcoholic thing. 
for well, a long time. You can make time. alcoholic eggnog. And then we got cashew nuts. So we're supposed to have half a cup of that. So we're gonna do a full cup. So come on, come on. Alright, that's good. It's like a full cup. Yeah, that was good. Put it in. Very nice. Very cool. One and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. There's actually quite a bit of cinnamon. There go. One full. You can actually um pop the the shake a bit off the top. Smart. Yeah. Yep. Now, so this is cloves ground, ground up cloves. Uh, it's meant to be one fourth. We're gonna do two fourths. All right. Yeah. Ryan is in charge of this recipe. Well, I don't. I'm doing you, nothing. I don't want you to screw it up. <laughs> this one seems like the most interesting thing to add into this. Cloves ground. What does it smell like? It smells like cloves ground. That smells like Christmas. And so that's, that's it. So all you... It does sort of smell like Christmas. Like, like, that's a really weird smell. It smells like... Like you're out in the forest and you're going to find a pine tree or something. Like, I thought cloves would be something garlicky for some reason. Just because you eat garlic cloves. Yeah, is that why? Yeah. So, same thing, this is our uh, ground up nutmeg. It says, the recipe says you're supposed to just have normal nutmeg, but we went ground up um, because I think it's easier to add that way. Same thing, it's one fourth, but we're gonna add two fourths. What's that smell like? Mm, a bit. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. I think I like the smell of the. Um, and cloves better. This is more earthy, I think. Ah, vanilla. Uh, half a teaspoon. Um, so I guess we'll just do a full teaspoon. And a pinch of salt. So this says pinch, so we're gonna do a punch. So you basically, you take a full thing of salt, you put it in your hand, like you're gonna punch someone and you throw it in. <laughs> I reckon we just stick to a pinch of salt. Yeah, we'll just do like a little, little sprinkle. Yeah. A little sprinkle. Oh, that's enough. That's oh, way too much. Oh, whoa. Okay, I got scared. <laughs> it was probably fine, actually. <laughs> I think it was okay. Leave the comments below. <laughs> right and here. from my angle, it looked like it was raining salt into the drink. I think it was fine. I, I, did, I did all right. But I screwed up most things. I think I did that one, okay. Yeah. A little spray. Oh, that's enough. I'm really interested to see this actually tastes like um, eggnog. So let's- Yeah, well, there's a lot of stuff in put it. This, put this down. Yeah, make sure that this bit is- Okay, on properly. That's on you got that on that little spot there, it's all squeezed in. Maybe move the laptop. The amount yeah. of times my laptop has gotten covered in smoothie. <laughs> well, don't leave it next to the smoothie. I know. What's happening here? This isn't going down. Whatever, I'm sure that's fine. He says famous last words before the smoothie. Oh my god, it is so overexposed. Let's so turn this to... I just to... realised that that was really overexposed and I'm sorry. Probably looks horrible. I look like a shining white beacon of light. Alright, so we're gonna, this is, actually right. thing has a eggnog mode on it, we're gonna hit it to eggnog mode. <laughs> to eggnog mode. <laughs> Ooh, it smells noggy. Does it? Yeah, smell it. Ooh, it actually does. Yeah, it's got that eggnog too. <laughs> It actually smells eggy. Alright. Weird. Real slow for you. Concentration level is high. Alrighty. Let's okay. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers, Rumble. Mmm. I like it better than eggnog. It smells like eggnog though. It smells like eggnog. It definitely, yeah, it definitely has the eggnog smell. But I feel like eggnog is normally thicker. Score for a recipe, like 7 8 out of 10. Yeah. Like, is, it, is it like eggnog though? Like, I think so. Mm. But like, I didn't have much eggnog to begin with. I had a lot of eggnog. I've got like two or three bottles like last year. And I would say. It tastes like maybe a four or five on the eggnog scale. Out of what? Like ten. I'd probably give it like like an eight. Mm. Like it's really like flavorful. It's got all those spices in it, and with such interesting like smells and tastes and things. And mm. 
I really like dates as well. I like this could definitely be like a vegan Christmas drink. Like, you know, like every year we go and make this particular drink, and yeah. like that could be your drink. But just for me, in terms of how I compare it to what I used to have with eggnog, it doesn't quite match up. But it's still a delicious drink nonetheless. And I could quite happily sit around the Christmas table drinking this and pretending it's eggnog. Hmm. And like enjoying it because it is quite delicious. Hmm. It's growing on me. The more you drink it, the more it's like, oh damn, it's oh, really? sweet. Yeah, it's got like a. So it's a nice sweet shade. Oh, I'm still standing by my, my review, but my, my point's made. But, uh, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. That's good. Mm. Good eggnog. Good job, good sanitarium. Good job. Yeah. And your recipe is very nice. Yeah, oh really? After all that? <laughs> what? You think I'm bagging it out? Like, what was I was like, oh, it's a good <laughs> drink. Does it taste like eggnog that I used to know? Maybe I'm like I'm some kind of monster. Like, that's horrible. Well, we can't make videos where we don't like things, okay? Of course we, we can. We really like things. Oh, we can. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. This is <laughs> terrible. Do a better eggnog next year. Have a year, 300 and <laughs> roughly 40 days to fix this. Let's wrap up this video then. Mm -hmm. um, go subscribe to Ryan. He's at Enjoy Your Game. Once again, link below. Subscribe to my dog Mia. Actually, follow her on Instagram. She has um. Go grab it. Go grab it. <laughs> now the reason I'm bringing up Mia is because we've been growing up her Instagram account. She has like almost 800 followers right now on Instagram, so it's very exciting. Mm. <laughs> and we're posting lots well. of puppy pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Maddie's posting a lot of puppy pictures. Yeah. Oh, so when she was a puppy, because we didn't get to see much of those pictures on your Instagram. No. Then. Got to catch up, don't we, baby? Yeah. We do. She's the coolest little puppy. <laughs> Alright, go sleep again. Alright, and subscribe to me if you like my videos, turn on my notifications, and give this video a like if you like vegan eggnog. Maybe if you would like to try vegan eggnog one day. <laughs> then you can refer back to this recipe and go, those guys were idiots. They didn't know what they was talking about. No, no, not at all. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's it. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Bye.